A breaking news update about the confirmed coronavirus case here in Wake County. Tonight we learned the man who tested positive for coronavirus ate at a Raleigh restaurant Saturday night. Soka in the Cameron Village Shopping Center posted on social media. According to the Post, Wake County health officials informed the restaurant that the man dined at Soka Saturday night. They said in part, we compiled a list of all the guests who could have potentially been in contact with the individual. According to the owner of the restaurant, it was extensively cleaned, including plates, silverware, tables, and chairs. Now the man tested positive for the coronavirus after returning from Washington State on February 22nd. Health officials say he started feeling sick a few days after returning and called his doctor. We're told he's resting at home in isolation and that any family members in his home are in quarantine for 14 days per protocol. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer is at Cameron Village tonight and joins us live. And Zach, anyone sharing concerns there tonight? Well, Angela, so far it is calm and quiet here at Cameron Village, but with the coronavirus here in North Carolina, a team at UNC Chapel Hill has developed a new test to detect the virus. Now, we went behind the scenes and talked with researchers all about this. sitting on ready. Dr. Melissa Miller and others at UNC are keeping tabs on the coronavirus outbreak. For weeks, their team has been working in Chapel Hill, developing a test to spot the virus and diagnose patients. We're going to detect specific sequences that are only found in that virus, and we can do this fairly rapidly. It's a very sensitive test. That means it picks up a very small amount of the virus that might be present in the specimen. Miller says the test involves taking samples, including nose and throat swabs and mucus from the lungs. This test is one of the many tests that we could perform on your respiratory sample to say whether you have the flu or COVID-19 or some other infection. Who should be getting this test? That's a very good question and it's something that UNC Healthcare is working through right now. What yes. type of symptoms yes. do they need to, to go through this test? It's basically a fever and a cough. Of course, we want to focus on those that are more critically ill. Many patients, we don't really know who's asymptomatic and has COVID-19 yet. Miller says researchers have past experience creating tests for emerging viruses with the potential to be a pandemic. We always hope that we build the test and we never have to use it. She and others hope to start patient testing early next week while working with the FDA on approval. To be kind of in the limelight and part of this um, outbreak and potentially part of the solution to the outbreak, we're very excited for. And again, Angela Marius, things are calm here at Cameron Village after learning that the patient dined at the shopping center over the weekend. Now, when asked, Dr. Miller tells me UNC is not involved when it comes to testing with the Wake County coronavirus case. Live in Raleigh, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.